Hey y'all, welcome to Cleveland Sports Network. I'm the host, Tanner Stone, and this is my co-host, Braden Beavers, and this year we're going to be going over everything revolving Cleveland sports. Like always, thank you for tuning in, and let's get it. Hey y'all, welcome to Cleveland Sports Network. My name's Tanner Stone, and I'm here talking about Cleveland girls soccer with Macy Wilson, Leah Hammond, Caitlin Perez. Uh, last week y'all had a great game against McMinn County. Uh, I know Macy, you in particular, did amazing. Two goals, y'all went to overtime. It was very exciting to see. Uh, but this next week, y'all are playing Walker Valley, which is, I know, is a very big opponent of y'all's. So how do y'all feel going to this next week's game? Um, this game is quite literally going to be a dogfight. It's yeah. basically like the whole game we're going to be, it's going to be fast-paced. We're going to be battling it out. People are probably going to get, like, a little too rough with each other, mm -hmm. but... If we have like a good support section there, like a student section, I think it'll be a great game. Y'all pop out 7 p.m. Thursday night. Uh, I know y'all's teams are pretty equally matched, so yeah, dogfight. Yeah. That'll be exciting to see uh, which way it goes. Um, so honestly, like playing at Walker Valley will be a bit challenging for us since we practice on grass, and that will be our first time playing on turf which mm -hmm. will be difficult, but I think we will do pretty good. What's y'all's favorite thing to do at practice? Honestly, I think for most of us, it's shooting, like shooting mm -hmm. games, I yeah. guess. Yeah. And we don't do that very much, so when we do yeah. that, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know y'all's formation changed since last year. Uh, how do y'all? What do y'all think of this new formation? I think it matches our team this year. Um, like enhances every single player on the team yeah and it works good for us yeah so y'all kind of adapted to it or yeah mm -hmm. that's what's up uh no in preseason y'all struggled a little bit but going to this next into the real season playing your first district game i think i've seen a lot of improvement uh with y'all i know that a lot of y'all are seniors so i want to ask y'all since y'all are all seniors uh, how does it feel maybe playing your last year of cleveland soccer I, don't, I mean, it's bittersweet because we put a lot of work into this team and everything. And for me personally, I've been playing since I was four, so like this yeah. is my last season wow. uh, playing soccer. And so it's like all of the hard work and hours put into it is coming to a close. Since you were four, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I know y'all have had the same head coach, Coach Christian, for their four years, so I know there's a lot of bond, there's a lot of chemistry in y'all's team. I know that's probably really hard to leave behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I'm sure y'all have had a lot of fun doing it. Um, do you think y'all's next generation is going to live up to the standards? I think I think surely they will at least, I mean, put enough effort to get to that point. But it's going to be hard with a lot of people. That we're losing, like, I don't even know how many seniors that is, but we're losing a lot of seniors. Yeah, these are all seniors, yeah, and there's a lot like more, right? Yeah. And yeah, so... We, I think most everyone on the team that's a senior starts and plays like full game, so mm -hmm. it's going to be definitely a big change, but I think if the, there's like a few freshmen maybe coming up that are going to be pretty good mm -hmm. and hopefully can step up to, to the plate. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Um, next week, Walker Valley. All right. What are some players y'all are looking out for? Um, Lila and AC are definitely ones to look out for mm -hmm. because they're the main centerpieces of Walker Valley's uh offense and everything so we're going to try our best to keep them contained um i have an interesting question uh, i want to ask what does it mean to get megged <laughs> uh, i'm not very fluent in soccer terms so um to get megged i actually got megged last game so i can speak about this <laughs> basically um someone on the other team or someone else has the ball and they kick it or are dribbling it and it goes it, the ball goes right through your legs and it's typically it's typically not that embarrassing unless the other team is like, no, that's oh, she's got Meg. That's then, then it's embarrassing. I think it's more embarrassing when they dribble between your yeah. legs. Yeah. Like if that. they just kick it and it's like, oh, it went through my legs. Yeah. But if they're dribbling it and they literally slide it right through your legs, that's just Is it harder to shoot or dribble in soccer? Shoot. Shoot. Shoot, shoot for sure. You have to shoot so. it at the perfect spot. Yeah. I feel like my like eye foot coordination is not there to like mm -hmm. kick around a soccer ball. <laughs> So that's why I think it'd be hard for me. To dribble. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, mm -hmm. I've seen Messi play. They're pretty insane. Mm -hmm. uh, are y'all any of y'all achieving that next level of soccer going into college? 
Personally, I'm not. This is my last year for, like, soccer. But... Yeah, I, I don't really plan on going to playing in college either. I've been debating it for, I mean, freshman and sophomore year, I really did want to, but I feel like... I've played since I've, I've also played soccer since I was four, like Leah, and Insane. I'm kind of at the point where I could, and like I've talked to some coaches from other colleges, but I think I kind of just want to move on yeah. and like kind of start my life in a new like area and not yeah. really. Focus I know on soccer it's a really big commitment. Yeah, that's another thing. It takes a lot of time away from your studies and everything at college, so uh, I understand uh, not wanting to go to the next level, but I see a lot of talent on y'all's team. I know that y'all have it in you if you ever want to. Mm -hmm. uh, thank y'all for joining me here today on Cleveland Sports Network. Come and see these girls play Thursday night at 7 at Walker Valley. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. At Walker Valley. Come see they play. Uh, thank y'all for joining us. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>